Sorry, buddy. So, Aiden, where were you born? On the highway. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I just woke up that morning, didn't feel very good, um, decided that I should go to the hospital, get checked out just to make sure. And then our Battleford Hospital told me that I should come to Saskatoon for precaution because they don't deliver twins in our Battleford. About shortly after Radisson, I phoned my parents and I told them that I needed help, that they needed to get me an ambulance right away. So the ambulance, I guess we pulled over just outside of Langham and thank goodness for the first responders in Langham showed up. I was very happy to see them. And uh, shortly after that, the ambulance showed and I, I don't really remember much after that. I remember being in the ambulance. I remember the paramedic telling me like, I think we'll make it to Saskatoon. I remember them putting the IV in my arm and yeah, and they just wouldn't wait or Aiden wouldn't wait. And he was born about five minutes after being in the ambulance. So, and then I remember going to Saskatoon Hospital and they let me know that Caden, the second twin, could have came at any moment. I was very grateful that he decided to wait until I was at least in the hospital room and that's kind of all I remember from that day. This is why we do our job is when people like Samantha come by and help share their story with us of how things went after the case and this brings goosebumps to us to see the little munchkins we helped deliver. And because the babies were premature and is very common with twins and uh, they are very common to come out breach as well when they're twins, um, we thought we'd have time and it turned out we didn't have any time at all. So we delivered the first baby fairly early. I was really concerned about Aiden being born on in the ambulance but just seeing them, seeing that they were healthy, that they were okay was a huge relief for me. But again, big thank you to Samantha for coming out and I'll encourage anybody to do that on EMS week. Come and give your paramedic a hug because you know there's lots of bad calls out there but there's lots of wonderful ones and we love to hear about them at the end of the day.